Hey, what's up guys? So today let's talk about a cool product that I use um, and, and really enjoy using because it's very handy in different ways. And, and that's the ice vents, um, but the ice vents that have the soft side Velcro on them. They're actually meant for chess rigs, right? To add to the back of a chess rig that is also has Velcro on there so you can add that to like a plate carrier. Um, it can also be used on the back of plate carriers if you use a different type of uh, uh, Velcro and kind of add a spacer. Uh, you could use it in a bunch of different ways. And one of the ways that I use it, especially on a belt, uh, when you can't wear an inner belt because you have too many layers on. Um, so for example, I teach in cold climates sometimes. I'm a tropical man. So <laughs> when in a cold climate, I wear a lot of layers, right? I want it to stay warm. I want to stay comfy because I can't, I can't be uncomfortable teaching to that extent, right? And like some uh, some dudes out there, a good example, Kayla Wojcik, uh, to quote him a little bit, he says that there's no such thing as bad weather. There's only bad, you know, clothing choices. So I want to choose the right clothing um, to make sure that I, I go out and, and have the right stuff. Now, when wearing bulkier jackets and stuff, it is hard to get these belts to be woven through either a second layer of pants, right? Or like a, a waterproof layer of pants or for example, just a bulky jacket, right? They usually hang lower than your waistline. So if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna go ahead and slap these guys on the inner portion of my belt and act as a cushion layer between me and my jacket. So right there, you can see like, now it acts just like an old fashioned, not old fashioned, just like one of the war belts from back in the day, like the old HSGI ones, like the, the older ones that we, we all probably used, most of us that were using war belts, at least in my era, big war belts, those were all cool and dandy and stuff because you throw them over PT shorts and shit. Um, the problem was they just slide a lot. With these pontoons or, or uh, ice vents in general, they don't slide as much and they'll stick to you and they also give you a little bit of ventilation. So I like using them in this manner as well where I'm, I'm able to go ahead, I can wrap around all the clothing that I'm gonna be wearing that day and make sure that I'm comfy as well as I don't have to use an inner belt. So super useful. Now, those of you that, that like end up you know, doing a little bit of workout and just leaving your PT shorts on and having to throw your belt on to kind of work and do stuff, this is another good option. So, um, one of the one of the things I wish I had once again overseas because this would have been really useful for me. Now, does it add some weight? Yeah, but barely. <laughs> the ice vents, if you've ever actually held one of these, they are super lightweight. Um, I don't know the actual weight for them, but they're not heavy at all, so not a big deal. Now, what's cool about these is there's still slits in them, so you can still use them as um, which are ch for, for your actual shoulder pads. You can still use them for all the other things that you used to use the other ones for. They just now have a soft side Velcro on them instead of just the, the normal backside of this material. Um, that way this material can pick up on any of the Velcro or hard side Velcros or hook loop uh, or hook portion of the loop. Uh, that way you can use it as that. Now, the main purpose of these was to use on the back of a chess rig. So this is just the placard, right? But if you can imagine the, the actual chess straps that I took off so I wouldn't be tangled over here. But all you do is you take this bad boy and you could slap these right on here where you want them and then have some ventilation and comfort when you're wearing your chest rig compared to when it normally is, which could be super helpful for some of us and different for others. So just another way of going about it, watch out for these little whip antennas, by the way, almost hit me in the eye like nine times already. Uh, <laughs> but overall, like it gives you a way of using your chest rig in, in a different way so that you're not, you know, one, gives you a little bit of ventilation because all of us know we sweat in these things uh, and they always leave that wet spot on your chest um, but also just a little bit extra comfort and it acts as that um, if you're using this this panel for a chest rig as well as for a uh, plate carrier it's better than that that little velcro backer that usually goes here so you're getting something out of it so these these for me i, I like these um 
I usually keep about four of them on hand, right? So uh, each pack comes with two usually. And I, I like to keep them on hand. That way I have them. I could keep them in my case, right? My, my travel case. I can keep them on my, my little placards if I want. I could do whatever I want with them. But they are super useful. I figured like they were worthy of a, a video to show you guys some of the uses I have for them and then just a little bit about them but they're fantastic. And um, I would say anybody that uses a belt often in cold environments or uses a chest rig often in any environment could use a set of these. And they're freaking awesome. So core performance, these are their little chest rig ice vents. Um, I, I, they're, there's probably a specific name for them, but they're the ones that stick to the back of a chest rig and have the soft side Velcro on them or soft side loop portion of the hook and loop. So I, I'm a big, big fan of these. And hopefully, hopefully that actually fits a spot for you guys. And a lot of people to know, don't know they even make these. So hopefully that helps. And, uh, and hopefully you got something out of that, but as a simple video on just a simple product that handles a lot of issues and can help you with a lot of different things. So personally, that's what I use it for belt stuff when wearing bigger stuff, or I just don't want to use an inner belt or on my chest rigs, the ones that I usually use on a on a chest, on, I'm sorry, on a full plate carrier, that when I don't use them on a plate carrier, they have a home uh, on the back side of these bad boys. Ba bam. Obviously, organized a little nicer than that. All right. So hopefully that helps, guys. Take care.